Hello everybody, Princess and the Bear here, and we're back from... Pennsylvania. Not Pennsylvania. Savannah? Vermont? We just got back from... Choir practice. So rude. A little bit rude. The Lion King! You just got what back the hell? from the Lion King. So, this happened. It's here. We have waited a long time for this. We really have. A very long time for this. And before, before I get disrespectful, I'm going to let Princess speak. Alright, fine. I thought the music was alright. Mind you, um, I typically binge the soundtrack as soon as it's released, and yeah, she does. it's very typical of me to listen to the soundtrack before I see a movie, maybe for like a day, a day and a half ahead of time. Eight, you know, eight times. Depending on the movie. Depending on the like, movie. Like Spider-Man, I watched, the, when we went and saw the latest Spider-Man, I, I listened to that soundtrack for maybe a day and a half, she two days. And it's Spider-Verse or Homecoming? Homecoming. Okay. Or Far From Home. Oh, sorry. Um, but this Lion King movie, I listened to the soundtrack, I listened to half the soundtrack one time and turned it off and tried to listen to it again, but I just couldn't. I thought, and it, it kind of lowered my expectations going into the movie because I the soundtrack wasn't as amazing as I expected it to be. The songs that I heard that I thought were going to be in certain portions of the movie ended up being in a different portion of the movie, so that was cool. But the soundtrack is not as good as what ended up in the final version of the movie. And I think it, it ended up being for the better. I do feel though, and I feel like this is where you're going to be going, the, the cast was underutilized extremely underutilized for the amount of talent mm. that they had. Possibly. Now there was great throwbacks to the original. There was some great um, new things that they brought to the table. I think the new things that they brought into the movie were just enough to make me interested in watching the rest of it. I love some of the new versions of the songs, especially the He Lives In You, which is in Zulu. And um, I'm going to say Aladdin was better than The Lion King. All the princesses point to good points. She will always be the musical connoisseur. I am. I adhere to her on most Disney musical or musical period things. Um, here's what I gotta say. Uh-oh. It's, it's part emotional and it's part logical. Disney, I feel like you just slapped me in the face with Good Dinosaur 2. It felt to me, and this is gonna be a little bit of disrespect, like a gigantic tech demo with an audiobook soundtrack. It was so gorgeous. It was photorealistic. This is one pretty movie. It's going to be, well, it's Disney, maybe six to eight months before we see something from this, from them, this pretty again. It's going to be five or six years before we see something this pretty from anybody else. So I will give you that. This movie is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. To their deficit, in my opinion. Because it is so good in certain parts that the lip syncing for the voices hits that sort of like yeah. uncanny valley portion and it just hits you wrong. No, it's not bad. It's a lot better than you're ever going to see in anything else even close. Leagues better than Jungle Book. But yes. it's just, it's so good as far as the photorealism. When you see their mouths start moving the words, you can just tell. Right in the face. Whoa. You can tell. It hurt. 
And I, heard I feel like we didn't really get to do the movie justice. We take turns buying the movie tickets. It was my turn to buy the movie tickets, and I bought for the wrong theater. So I didn't. We didn't get to watch it in 3D like I wanted to, and I feel like it would have been a much better movie had we watched it in 3D. Wait, I, I don't really feel like it took too much out of my enjoyment. I, I forgot about the fact it wasn't in 3D halfway through, but I feel some type of way about not being able to see it in 3D. I, I guess I guess some things to say to certain people in this movie because it just it hurt me. Like m m m Earl, Earl, Mr. Jones. Your Highness, I love you. You will always be my king. Always. But you sound tired. You do. You sound really tired. Totally different like, than before. They should have used the same audio clips from the original. You, the same lines. You sound like you need a nap. Like, like they dragged you out and forced you to do this. And I feel bad for you. And, I mean, the first half of the movie, I felt like y'all phoned it in. Apparently, um, Billy Eichner and Seth Rogen worked in the same with Donald Glover, with Donald Glover. The same room and it yes. shows because that those portions are a lot more natural and they feel a lot more riffy and like less like hey yeah I can't wait to be king phoned in it was it's it's sad to me that the, the biggest stars in this movie I thought were the worst actors Billy Eichner Seth Rogen Florence Kasumbe don't get me I look it up and <laughs> And uh, Donald Glover were the best voice cast out of the whole cast because it actually felt like, hey, I'm here to play a character and I want to play a character. My queen, Miss Beyonce, Beyonce, Beyonce. There was way too much Beyonce in this movie. Not from a from time standpoint, but you are playing a lion, not Beyonce. A lion, lioness. Too much Beyonce in the voice. It was killing me. Oh, just because it was her regular voice? What was she like, supposed to no, do? No, just like, she sounded like she was playing her and not the line. You can't play yourself. You either are yourself or you're not yourself. The so voice was she wasn't me. acting and as it, a lion. Even That's in the fine. singing with Beyonce. Donald Glover, like, you're, you're in a duet. They sounded really good together. They sounded good, but she just kept, like, she just kept taking it up a notch and he's trying to keep up. That's and what she's she not does. with him, though. That's too much on I, I feel like the, the two of them and their ad-libbing in Can You Feel the Love Tonight and stuff, I thought that that was really well done from a musical perspective. I thought they were well together, but it's like those flourishes she has and like her normal singing. Ad-libs. Cut that off. I thought it was... Uh, don't listen to him. I told you. Disrespect. I feel like Disrespect. it was it was perfect. It hurt me. I just felt like she was underutilized. I felt like Donald Glover was underutilized. Don't get me wrong. I'm complaining about the flourishes, but the singing was top notch. Yeah, of course. It's definitely Beyonce. Her acting though, phoned in. It's just Beyonce James Earl Jones. Just talking. My king, phoned in. What? Well, okay. Um. Angel Four. John Oliver. Phoned in. John Oliver, great. John Oliver great. was awesome. John Oliver was the perfect cast for Zazu, and nobody else could play him. He definitely carried the movie, I think. Yeah, Edge of Four. You're like the second coming of, of of James Earl Jones crossed a little bit of Morgan Freeman. Edge of Four is the second coming of James Earl Jones crossed with Morgan Freeman to me. I love his voice, but in this movie, no. No, no, no. Absolutely not. This is, I've loved him in everything he's ever done, except for this. Well, that's disappointing. His, his song was the worst. His voice was the worst out of everybody. Even the hyenas, and they weren't all that great. The hyenas were not great at all. He was the worst. I like the original cat. I mean, it's Whoopi Goldberg. You can't beat Whoopi, like, replacing him with the other dudes. I know those other people that have that played the hyenas have They're been funny. in a bunch of other movies. They're funny. But I feel like the hyenas were not as important in, in the story as the original. They felt like moving post-it notes. Mm-hmm. Not, not so great. Now, the second half of the movie, when you get, you know, Donald Glover and Seth and it's Eichner all riffing. Not good enough. It, it helps, but not there for me. Not, not enough. It felt like too little too late. It hurt me. It hurt me. Now, I'm not saying this is all bad. I'm saying that if you're a fan, go see it. In matinee. <laughs>
Maybe th not full price, but go That's go see it. Me. <laughs> go, go see it. I go want, see it. I movie. want you to go see it and then come back in the comments and tell me I'm insane. If you guys go watch this, and I want you to go watch this, and you feel like I am being crazy and just straight disrespectful and no niceness at all, you come back in the comments and I'll answer you that I'm insane. But this movie did not do it for me. I. I don't like it. If I don't see this again, and I, I'm going to watch it again. <sighs> this is one of those movies uh, where I'm on the fence. Like, okay, every time I watch a Disney movie, I'm like, steelbook, buying it, pre-ordering it. This one, I might wait. I might not pre-order it. Maybe with subtitles. I'm probably been better with subtitles. Honestly. I just feel like I, I needed more. I needed more line. Like, some of the other... What I what I expect out of some of these live action movies, especially the ones that have already been hit Broadway musicals, I expect not only are you incorporating the movie, but you are incorporating the Broadway musical and maybe you're adding a new song. Now they've done that with some of the other ones, but they did not do that with The Lion King. Nope. Mine is Beyonce's nope. song and it's missing that. Uh, just one so like sing the morning report let John Oliver sing the morning report that's a song from the Broadway show and was added to the extended edition of the Lion King there you go I would have been happy and don't get me wrong I know I'm saying a lot of negative things here we're nitpicking it's it's an okay movie it's a summer movie it's not horrible it's watchable being that the stakes are so high for this movie, I feel kind of bad because it's, the, it's Lion the Lion King. Like, it was never going to be as good as the animated one, and I was okay with that. Just some of this other stuff. Not so much. Overall, I think I would give the movie, if I'm giving it a letter grade, I'm going to give it a B. Two and a half claws. Ouch. I might even have to You really didn't even like that movie, mm. clearly. I liked it better than he did, mm. and usually I'm the one that mm. hates, and then I like it more later on mm. after I, I let it marinate. It's pretty. This one's mad. It's pretty. I mean, it's definitely pretty. And I mean, I, I could probably watch it with the sound off, but I mean, except except for the, the, the in the jungle part. I liked it part. I'm better, glad, better, a lot better than the movie. I'm glad that the original... Act singers of Solomon the Linda. Lions credited. tonight finally got credited. Finally credited. Thank you, Disney. Thank you for being good guy, Disney. It's not easy. Represent being you. South Africa. I good for I, you. I thank you. But, but people, go see the movie. Don't listen to me. I'm just, I'm just ranting. I'm a little hurt inside. Y'all might be a little hurt inside after you finish this. But I, go see the movie, regardless of what this one uh, says. Go see the movie. Uh, it's worth it. Go see it in theaters. <laughs> Go see it in 3D. I think it would be better in 3D. Standard was cool. It's definitely photorealistic. Whether or not you see it in 3D or standard, definitely. I think 3D would be definitely. a better option. I might go see it in 3D by myself. Till next time. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> <laughs>